There are several very interesting things about the Spanish flu. First of all, it didn't start in Spain. Secondly, it wasn't a flu. There's more, but let's start with these two, shall we? If it didn't start in Spain, then where did it? In the US. If it wasn't a flu virus, what was it? It was a bacteria that caused severe, and in most cases, lethal pneumonia. According to a 2008 National Institute of Health paper, bacterial pneumonia was the killer in a minimum of 92.7% of the autopsies reviewed. So why do we call it the Spanish flu? As a decoy, a smokescreen to hide the truth, if people prefer to hear a convenient lie. The first cases of bacterial pneumonia in 1918 trace back to a military base in Fort Riley, Kansas. During the first half of 1918, an experimental bacterial meningitis vaccine cultured in horses by the Rockefeller Institute for Medical Research in New York, now the Rockefeller University, was injected into soldiers at Fort Riley. The so-called Spanish flu was a vaccine experiment gone horribly wrong. Well, that's what we, the people, would say. The cabal would refer to it differently. They would call it an experiment with the best outcome ever. Millions of American soldiers were vaccinated with this experimental serum. Two million of them went overseas. They fought under poor sanitary conditions, so the bacteria spread like wildfire wherever they went. The story was then spread that these soldiers would come home with all sorts of European diseases, so the American population was vaccinated as well. On top of everything else, the vaccines were distributed all over Europe. Only the vaccinated died. Healthy men and women in the prime of their lives died. Not the elderly, as would have been the case if it were a flu virus. Who was in charge of that distribution and mass vaccination program? The Rockefeller Institute. Who was the main scientist in charge? Dr. Frederick Gates. According to Gates, they injected random dosages of an experimental bacterial meningitis vaccine into soldiers. Those who survived became cloud adults, meaning they spread the bacteria to others, even the non-vaccinated. Amazing coincidence, right? Frederick Gates then, Bill Gates now. Rockefeller Initiative then, Rockefeller Initiative now. Closed down societies then, closed down societies now. All for our own good, our own safety, back then and now.